just when you thought you couldn't possibly fit anything more into this trip or any more adrenaline or adventurous stuff, you're wrong. We're about to embark on the most exciting, scary and challenging adventure of our lives. Four states, three weeks and nine stages to become fully licensed skydivers. This is going to change our lives forever. We woke up in the morning, pimping accommodation, stunning day, looking out onto the marina. And we are just admiring all the boats and not really knowing what we are going to do today. Then we discovered that we are actually staying next door to Luke, who is the coolest dude and has so many epic toys, and was like, guys, this is my boat, let's go. We jump on the boat and we go and pick up one of Luke's friends, Chopper. And now we're just like, honestly, it's Marnie and I and just like a heap of really cool dudes. It was a really fun ride over to Rotnest. I didn't think there were waves around Rotnest. I went years ago and I just thought it was like a snorkeling area. And we're going over there and there's like two metres swell and we're just absolutely hooning. It was so much fun. And then we got over there and there was ten foot waves. Some good waves out there. Pretty big. When we rocked up to Rottnest Island and saw that first set break over the bombing, I was just amazed. Couldn't wait to get out there. When Chopper whipped me into that first wave, it was a little bit of a fat wave, and wasn't really barreling at all. But we both talked to each other and thought, if we be patient, we can definitely get a good one. And when that next wave came through, it was just huge. The horizon turned black, and I could see Chopper just sitting there on my left-hand side, just looking back at me, and I could see the wave slowly starting to pitch up, and, and I, I knew we were on. towed into that wave and got that incredible barrel. I think we were all just, we just all lost it. We were all so excited. I think it was just because we were proud. And anytime anyone on this trip has done something, it's like we're all there with them and we're all in that moment. We're all in that barrel with Bowie. And... Yeah! <laughs> that was so sick. Thanks, Lukey. <laughs> just the eye of this barrel. You can just see out all of you guys just going, yeah! <laughs> I do quite a bit of toe surfing at home with mates, um, so I'm quite comfortable behind the rope. But to see Dane toe surf for the first time, it was unreal. Just the smile on his face was huge. It's something that he's been wanting to do for a long time, so it was great that he got the opportunity and see him just get some big bombs. So glad the first ever wave that I got towed into is caught on camera. And my best friends. That's right, my best friends. <laughs> After the towing surfing, we went spearing around the corner. We ended up finding one little cray and I speared a couple of fish. Yeah, look, it was a really tough day. Um, the boys were snorkeling and I was going for a swim and sunning myself on the boat. Dane, healthy tradie, thanks mate, just uh, preparing a little barbecue on the boat. I was emotional because that was just perfection. Luke's hooked us up, organised some snags, some chicken skewers. He caught a chicken. <laughs> caught a chicken. <laughs> At least we got a cray. We got a few crays. Yeah. So we got some chili garlic parsley. I'm gonna cook up the cray tail on the barbecue here. Be nice and simple. Just yeah, good flavours. Keep it fresh. Straight out of the ocean. You don't eat chicken? You get your healthy trading mate to make you a crayfish sanger. I've never had crayfish before. Let me just try it by itself. I think my eyes have rolled back. It was so good. Oh my god, that it's like a party in your mouth. 
Wake up the next day thinking we don't have much on, go to visit Luke again and see the rest of his business. Walking into the hangar there at Corsair Aviation was just mind blowing. Having those three big C-130 helicopters there, it was just incredible. And, and then when we were told we we're actually going up for a flight, I was like a little kid at Christmas, I couldn't believe it. Just when you thought you couldn't possibly fit anything more into this trip or any more adrenaline or adventurous stuff, you're wrong. Because we're going back to where it all started, iFly. We started in Penrith in Sydney and now we're here in Perth at iFly. I hope we've improved because it's a little bit embarrassing if we haven't. The first time we went to iFly, we were really just learning the basics and, and sort of experimenting with our balance. It is such a surreal feeling to look back two and a half weeks ago where we started, to look where we are now, like what we've learned, like we can fly now. We know what it feels like to fly at 14,000 feet, so it's going to be kind of bizarre to get back into the tunnel and sort of know what we're doing. You know, we've grown so much. Um, as a group and, and individually, but it's also nice to see how much we've grown in terms of our skills. Signing up to this thing with complete strangers, essentially, to being now where we're family. You're just sitting there with your mates, just cruising. The moment we can be up in the sky, all four of us together, oh. is going to be really good. Just can't make eye contact with Lee. <laughs> yes! I never, ever, ever, ever thought that at 23 years of age, I would be jumping out of a plane solo at 5,000 feet. This is fuller. 